So far, we have discussed the principles laid down by Mendel. Gregor John Mendel chose pea plants and did his experiments purely on pea plants and laid down the foundations of inheritance that we follow today. So let us start and walk into what Mendel did in his experiments, just a journal overview. So let us start. Uh, when Mendel did experiments, he did his experiments for three generations. First generation, second generation and third generation. Let us begin with how the Mendel performed his experiments. But before that, let's have some terminology. When we talk about the word phenotype, it means the outward, outward appearance. See, for example, the flower is purple in color. So, phenotype is purple color. Allele is one version of a gene. For example, we have two types of alleles. We have dominant alleles and recessive alleles. Dominant is... Uh, written as a capital letter, uppercase letter and recessive as a small letter, lowercase letter. And genotype is a combination of genes, means you'll have to write both of them, capital A and small a, because we have two copies of each gene, so genotype is the copies. Now, what Mendel did was, he chose pure breeding experiments. He f The first experiment he did was the pure breeding, true breeding varieties, means the pollen from the same flower goes to the pollen of the other flower and we have all the progeny that is having white flowers. So, if the parents have white flowers, the progeny will all have white flowers. This was true breeding experiment. Then he did some reciprocal cross. What is reciprocal cross? Means pollen grains from the purple flower are going to sit on the stigma of white flowers. And then also it can uh, be demonstrated as the pollen grains from white flowers are going to sit on the stigma of purple flowers. So what happens in this type of cross? The, when the pollen grains are from purple flower, so the white flower is acting as the mother plant and purple flower is father plant because pollen grains are from purple flower. Reciprocal can also happen. For example, in this case, we can say purple flowers are acting as the father plant and white flower as the mother plant, white flower as father plant and purple flower as the mother plant. So, these type of crosses were made by Mendel to uh, show the principles of inheritance in his experiments. The first generation, what, 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 what would you see in the first generation? You see that the flowers are all purple. So, whatever the characteristic trait you see is the dominant characteristic trait. For example, if you see all the flowers purple, the seen characteristic trait is the dominant trait. If it is not white, means white color is the recessive trait because you don't see any white flower, any white flower here. Then what he did was the purple flowers which he made in the first generation, he crossed, his, he did selfing of those plants. So, now what happens when he was going to cross these plants, he will get the first filial generation and what it would be like. So, this is true breeding variety of the flowers. Now, we have purple flowers and purple flowers. What happened? One, one plant was having white flowers. So, means the ratio is 3. So, three, 3 plants were what? Showing the dominant trait and one plant was showing the recessive trait. That means it was showing white flowers. So, what is happening? When we have crossbred a purple flower with a white flower, means a plant having purple flower with a plant having white flower, you see the chromosomes have the traits. For example, when we had this uh, purple pl uh, flower, plant having this purple flower was having dominant alleles means capital P and capital P. And when we are talking about this plant with white flowers, it, it is having what? It is having, can you guess? It is having two small p means two lowercase letters means it is homozygous recessive. This is homozygous dominant, it is homozygous recessive. So what are, what are the possibilities? The, the plant is definitely going to show purple flowers. Why? Because the purple is the dominant characteristic trait. Remember what is seen is the dominant one. So it is but heterozygous. Why? Because it has two different, two different genes. One is dominant and the other is recessive. So it becomes heterozygous. Next, we talk about if second filial generation, what happens? 
we have now heterozygous plants both the plants are heterozygous now they are not homozygous they carry different different genes so there are there are four possibilities the plant can be homozygous dominant it can be homozygous recessive it can be again see heterozygous so but when you look at the uh, at the uh, plants physically what you are going to see you'll have three plants with purple flowers and one plant with purely white flowers so what does this confirms this confirms the three plants will be purple and one plant is going to be white so we can also show this by a special square that is punnett square designed by punnett we'll take on the upper hand side both the genes capital p small p and on the side also capital p and small p we'll multiply them we'll have these type of combinations as you can see capital p capital p here capital p small p capital p small p and small p small p so you can make out that these plants will appear with flowers purple in color and one plant will appear with flowers which are white in color so this is how you can make out that the scene characteristic trait that you see from the outer appearance is the dominant trait means the purple flower color is dominant over the white flower color so the ratio the genotypic ratio becomes we have a genotypic ratio and we have a phenotypic ratio now when you have to write down ratios genotypic ratio or a phenotypic ratio you need to remember that genotypic ratio tells us the genes and phenotypic ratio tells us what the plant actually looks from the outer appearance so let us discuss the phenotypic ratio first for this cross how many how many plants will have purple flowers and how many plants will have white flowers definitely as you can see three plants are going to have purple flowers and one plant is going to have white flower because the recessive trait is going to express only when they are present in pairs right because if if one gene is present which is dominant the dominant character is going to be expressed so physically you will see three plants with purple flowers and one plant with white flowers so the phenotypic ratio becomes 3 ratio 1 but when we talk about the genotypic ratio what different types of gene combinations do you see you see we have homozygous right then we have heterozygous plants with purple flowers and then we have purely recessive homozygous plants which have white flowers so how uh, this the, we have one plant with this type of genotypic ratio trait and we have two plants with this type of gene combination and when we have one plant with this type of gene combination so genotypic ratio becomes 1 ratio 2 ratio 1 and the phenotypic ratio means from outer appearance you will not be able to judge the genes but from outer appearance we will be able to judge the colors so there are there will be three plants which will have purple flowers and one plant which will have white flower to so remember for the for the mono hybrid cross when we are going to consider one characteristic trait the genotypic ratio for the generation is 1 ratio 2 ratio 1 and the phenotypic ratio for second generation is 3 ratio 1 this is this is to be remembered by all of you so that you have an idea of how the principle